Now that we've got our files unzipped, uh, what we're going to want to do is open up the program we'll use to uh, basically work with and process these files. And for us, that's NV5.6.2. And you can get to that a couple different ways. I don't believe there's going to be an icon on your screen. So you're going to have to somehow get down to the sort of search bar where you can type in NV5.6.2. Now, there may be some earlier versions of NV that you see. But what you really want is NV5.6.2 app. You don't want the 32-bit version. You want this version right here. So if you click on that guy, uh, it should open up. And actually, it's, it's opening up on my second screen. So, uh, but you should see a little globe pop up. And then this guy is, is open. And so, you know, basic kind of Windows user interface. You've got a toolbox over here. You've got your layer manager. For those of you who know ArcGIS Pro or Arc uh, Map, uh, it should look somewhat similar to that. And so in order to actually start working with some of the files that we've unzipped, we need to open up this. You can get to it via file or open. You can also just use this open icon here. And basically you want to navigate to the location that you are, um, that, that your, your files are. And again, for us, that's C, Geog 470 Labs, RS Lab 1. And what you'll see here is you've got these different types of, of files available. And they might be arranged differently. Again, we've got the original zipped folders. Then they've got zippers on them and then the unzipped data. Now you may have unzipped it to a, a different location and then wherever those files are, that's where you need to open them up. And you'll see here each of these guys, NN10, and NN20, and NN40. This is for corresponding to this 10 band 1 from Landsat 7. This is band 2 from Landsat 7, band 4, band 3, band 7, and so on. Sort of interesting that they're a little bit, uh, you know, uh, out of order. You can change it by you know name or, or, or different types. If you do it by type, it's pretty easy that then you can just select those guys and what you want to open up are the .tiff files. You'll see that those are larger size than these .emp files which contains metadata. What you want is the actual image which is the .tiff file. So select those, there's six of them from six different bands and then say open. And so it's going to read those bands into the program, and then it should open up, and you'll see them displayed. Okay, great. There they are. We can move this over so I can see the full name. And so we've got 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they're each individual bands, and so they're individual grayscale images, right? So each of these individual guys corresponds to, right? data from one channel or one uh, band from the satellite. This is from band five that I just turned turn on. And, and I highly encourage you to play around in this program, right? So you can zoom in and out with the, the cursor. Uh, you can use this guy to pan around, right? You can do all kinds of different things. You can, you can zoom in, right? So, so play around with the icons and get a good handle on what these different uh, guys do. But this is basically, you, you now successfully have opened up and brought these files into Envy. So right on.